Hey, this is Lou from Joypad, and the first of a set of screencasts to show you how to add Joypad support to your games. First step is to go get the SDK from getjoypad.com. The download will come with a Joypad iOS folder with these contents, the header files, static library itself, and images for doing custom alerts that are Joypad enabled. Alright, first uh, let's open Joy, uh, Xcode and create a new project. We'll call Hello World, Joypad Hello World. And we'll drag the contents of this Joypad iOS folder into our project. Next, we need to add the CF network framework. And now we're ready to start coding. Open up the app delegate, import the JPSDK file header, and create a single class method called uh, Joypad Setup. Call that from application did finish launching. The class that we're going to use to do our initial configuration is called JP Manager. We can get a singleton, or JP Manager implements a singleton pattern, so you can only get a single instance of it through Shared Joypad Manager. And we'll set a few properties on that max player count, application name. This gets displayed when we connect to Joypad. Your game's name. Uh, the initial controller layout. For this, we'll use the built in navigation layout, which comes pre bundled with the SDK. It's got a navigation pad and then a back and select button. It works really well for menus. And last but not least, we have to tell JP Manager, we have to keep JP Manager informed of the state of our game. So the reason we do this is because. As long as the SDK is up to date with the game, the state of the game, then you don't have to manage any joypad connections like searching for devices or quitting the search when you want to start gameplay or come out of the background. All of that will be handled for you by the SDK. So here we say game state launch. And now we are ready to go to view controller here. Let's get rid of all this nonsense. And when our view appears, well, so this view controller is our theoretical menu. Uh, we'll, I mean, it's not going to be much right now for the sample, but we can build it in a way that it could handle a menu. So let's implement the JP device delegate. Met, uh, device delegate protocol and the JP manager delegate protocol and we can implement those methods first with joypad manager we'll implement did connect and did disconnect and in the body of these we'll set the newly connected devices delegate Self. And we'll log out for now. That we've connected to somebody. Okay. Now, those were the Joypad Manager delegate methods. Now, for the Joypad Device delegate methods, we are using the JP Navigation layout. So, the delegate method that we implement is Joypad Device Did Navigate. And we can take a look at this JP Nav button enum. 
all the constants for the SDK are defined in JP constants, which is in headers, JP constants. So we can say that our, our possible values are up, right, down, left, back, and select. Uh, let's just say when nav button nav button is select, we'll just log out that we are going to hit select. Okay, finally, last step for the for getting input from the navigator. When when view when view when we get this view did appear view did appear method call, we want to trans we want to set the JP manager's delegate to self and any con previously connected devices delegates also to self. And we do that because this menu could be hit. We could go to the menu, we could go out to gameplay, we can come back to the menu, and when we come back to the menu, we want to make sure that we can still get input from Joypad. So let's get the manager. Let's set the game state. Game state menu. Set its delegate to self. And let's loop through the connected devices. And set the device delegates to self. Okay, let's start this up and see what happens. If I open Joypad on my phone, the two will connect. We get the navigation layout up on Joypad. And you can see we connected as player one. When I hit select, we get a log message, you hit select. All right, that's it for the getting started. Next up, we will, well, I will show you how to switch from a navigation layout to a custom layout when you start gameplay. Okay, thanks.